What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 YouTube videos that got people in serious trouble. Now if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and you turn on the bell notification so you never miss another video. Also, let's see if we can hit today's like goal of 10,000 likes on this video, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 5. If you're a viewer of Vitaly, you know he's never been scared to push the boundaries, but sometimes he really goes across the line and that's the easiest way to sum up this video. In 2012, he organized a prank where he was a Russian hitman and offered people a suitcase and made it look like it was going to explode. Now most people just ran, but some really weren't happy and Vitaly ended up being the one with his life at risk. When Andre Brown was approached, he ran just like everybody else. When he found out it was a prank, everything changed. He actually ran after both Vitaly and the cameraman, and when the cameraman told him to quote unquote just chill, things seemed to get even worse. Both Vitaly and the cameraman were arrested for the prank and spent 20 hours in a county jail. Even worse, they faced felony charges for creating a bomb hoax. Now this wouldn't be the last time Vitaly got in trouble, but definitely was one of the most memorable. After being arrested for a bomb hoax, police say we're pretending to have a bag with an explosive in it. Number 4 So Daddy05 has always been a controversial channel, but this was a prank that really pushed things over the edge and put the spotlight on his family. To start things off, ink was poured all over the carpet and the little kids got the blame, even though they had nothing to do with the prank. Even though it's invisible ink, the dad goes crazy and manages to make almost everyone in the video cry. I mean, the kids literally seem terrified for their lives and can't tell whether what's going on is a prank or not. In my opinion though, it's pretty hard to watch, and most people on YouTube thought so too, making hundreds of videos in protest and calling on YouTube to terminate their channel. Now it wasn't until Philip DeFranco posted a video about the channel that their hate reached a whole new level, which resulted in them pulling all their videos down. However, most people think that's not enough, and that the videos are basically child abuse. What do you guys think though, is this innocent entertainment or seriously messed up? Let me know in the comments below. I bought this here, Invisible Ink. Get your fucking Number 3 Comedy on YouTube could be hard to get right, and Nicole Arbor is the perfect example of what happens when it goes wrong. Her videos were always about controversial topics, but in 2015 she stepped way over the line. Her Dear Fat People video created so much drama on YouTube and Facebook and made her one of the most hated figures on the internet. Like she was seriously telling her audience to shame people who are overweight, which basically made even her fans look at her differently. I mean this situation shows that YouTube is a really great place to let everyone share their opinion, but telling people your unpopular opinion might make you lose your career, so you gotta be super careful about it. Dear fat people, ah, some people are already really mad at this video. What are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? Wait, what are you gonna chase me? Really? You're gonna chase me? It's gonna be like fucking Frankenstein. I can get away from you by walking at a reasonable pace. Frankenstein, not so fast. Zombies have apparently gotten faster. I watched like three episodes of The Walking Dead and not being slow myself in the brain, realized that every single episode is exactly the same. Oh no, they need something, but it's all the way over there. Where the zombies are? Fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. That's the race card with no race. Yeah, but I couldn't fit into a store. That's discrimination. Uh, no, that means you're too fat and you should stop eating. Everybody just needs to make more sense. There's a race card, there's a disability card, there's even a gay card because gay people are discriminated against, wrongfully so. The gay card's covered in glitter. It's fucking magical. Are you gonna tell the doctor that they're being mean and fat shaming you when they say you have fucking heart disease? Number two. Okay, I think everyone on the internet has heard about this PewDiePie video by now, but not everyone's seen it. This video created a whole new discussion about YouTube and internet culture in general, but the consequences easily hit PewDiePie the hardest. In the video, he pays people on the site Fiverr to do crazy things, including two men who say they'll write anything on a sign and dance to it. Like, he legitimately asked them to write death to all Jews expecting them not to do it, but since they barely understand English, they actually wrote it and posted it for him. Now that video caused a whole lot of drama, both because of the anti-Semitic message and the fact that he was taking advantage of poor people who really needed the money. 
After a Wall Street Journal article about the supposed racism, his views dropped, his sponsors pulled out, and his YouTube Red Show was canceled. Since then though, everyone has agreed that the articles were unfair and untrue, but it just goes to show how a few dumb articles posted for views could really affect someone. On my body and dance in the jungle. Exclusive on Fiverr for $5. <laughs> Business. I am supporting businesses right now, okay? Here we go. Sign to behold. Death to all. Tell us how to pronounce your given message. Please, deliver. <laughs> the fuck is this? I paid for this. What? What's with the Christmas? I like the editing. Subscribe to Keemstar. <laughs> okay, here's your honorable mention. With a name like Troll Station, it was only a matter of time before a video got them in trouble, and in 2016, they definitely came through with that. Armed with tights and fake paintings, the guy stormed into an art gallery and did a fake heist, basically running around and yelling at the customers. Now it's obviously fake, as they forgot the way out of the museum and dropped the paintings, but the police didn't seem to find it very funny. They were literally arrested for being a public nuisance, and were eventually sentenced to 12 weeks imprisonment for intent to cause fear. Now although they didn't technically mean to break the law, Troll Station members also went to trial over a fake kidnapping prank at the Tate Modern, with one getting 24 weeks for a separate bomb hoax. However, they said it wasn't going to stop them making videos, which I find both cool and crazy at the same time. Are you done? Get the pants! Are you done? Get the pants! Get the pants! Get the pants! Are you the pants? Are you going to... Hey, come this go! Get the pants! Everyone's going! Hey, what? where's the pants though? Are you going to pants? Have you got, I've got a pants! I've got a pants! I've got a pants! You got a pants! Oh, I've got, wait, no, it's this way from, hey! This way, the pants! Let's go! The pants! Come on! Everyone, let's go! Everyone grab a pants! Everyone grab a pants with us! Please! Grab the pants! Come on! Please! I've got the pants! I've got the pants! Number 1. Getting in trouble for a video sucks, but when you don't deserve the consequence you're getting, it's even worse. This guy posted a stab proof vest video and it was taken down because of a huge misunderstanding. The video was just meant to be for fun and education and showed him stabbing a stab proof vest to see what would happen. However, because the title and thumbnail were kind of aggressive, YouTube pulled the video down pretty quickly after a few misleading articles were posted about it. Even worse, in the articles, he was actually accused of creating the video to help terrorists who could then learn how to attack police wearing similar vests or make theirs stronger. What's crazy is a popular politician in Europe even called out his video personally, which created even more hate for no reason at all. In the end, he re-uploaded the video with an explanation, and so far YouTube hasn't attempted to take it down. However, getting branded a terrorist sympathizer definitely put him in the most trouble out of everyone on this list, and that's why he took our number one spot. There has been a lot of talk about the little stat-proof vest review that I made like six or seven months ago. The Daily Mail even accused me that I teach evil forces how to penetrate police vests. Let me be very clear about this. I did not test police gear. Police gear usually is really well tested and also very tough. It costs many times more than the cheap vest that I reviewed. I ever made. Uh, Too bad that it now only serves one purpose and that's not a pretty one. <laughs> okay, here we go. <coughs> wow, look at that. I pierced the safety vest. All right, let's look at the damage here. And there's our video on the top five YouTube videos that got people in serious trouble. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever I upload a video. Also, if you're on top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.